Electric vehicles are the future, but anyone that tells you EVs are perfect, ignore them and run away because they're lying to you. So, I have a few opinions about electric vehicles and where personal transportation is heading. At EV Pulse, we firmly believe battery powered cars and pickup trucks will revolutionize how we get around. Emphasis on will. You see, the problem is we live in the present, not the future, and I'm pretty sure nobody's invented a time machine just yet, unless you count this woman in Charlie Chaplin's silent film The Circus, who appears to be talking on a cell phone and I wonder if it's Apple or Android. Anyway, electric vehicles are the future and they offer undeniable benefits, but they are not perfect for every driver in all situations. And in some cases, they're not even adequate for people. Now, if you tow horse trailers, live off the grid at the top of a mountain, or need to haul cubic yards of slag sand every day, an EV is not for you. Beyond that, electric vehicle range can be dramatically reduced in cold weather, so if you reside in, I don't know, Prudhoe Bay, Alaska, you might not want a Nissan Leaf. EVs are often expensive and hard to get, like the Hyundai Ioniq 5, which isn't even sold in all 50 states. The public charging network is often extremely poor, as we have first-hand experience with here at EV Pulse. Now, of course, Tesla's supercharger network is really pretty great, but if you don't own one of Elon Musk's cars, you're gonna have a harder time. Beyond that, there are major concerns about the electrical grid. I mean, what's gonna happen once everybody starts plugging in? We don't really like to invest in infrastructure here in the US, and there could be some major problems once EVs really take off. Now, these are all real concerns, ones that EV detractors are correct in pointing out, even if they often miss the broader picture. Still, even with these limitations, I'd say probably like half of American drivers would be better off with an EV than an internal combustion powered car or truck, and here is why. For starters, you can refuel right at home. You just install a level two charger in your garage or carport and you wake up every morning with a full battery. It doesn't really get any easier than that. EVs also have way fewer moving parts than internal combustion powertrains. I mean, just look at a gasoline engine. You've got valves and keepers and springs, retainers. There are bearing inserts, connecting rods, piston rings. I mean, count the links in a timing chain. There are all kinds of moving parts, and each one of those is a potential failure point, and EVs have way fewer of them. Electrics are also nearly silent. They have almost no vibration when you're driving them. And can you say torque? Electrics hit super hard right off the line and give you great acceleration. Also compared to internal combustion, the maintenance costs of EVs are way less. You never have to go in for an oil change and they typically cost a lot less to run. Plus electrics are far more efficient and they have zero tailpipe emissions. Now, of course, it all depends on how the power is generated that goes into the battery, but regardless, they still are on the whole cleaner than gasoline or diesel powered cars and trucks. So if you rarely drive long distances, don't need to tow or haul mountains, and you have a place at home to level two charge, I would say get an EV and you'll probably be very happy. Now, obviously we love electrics here at EV Pulse, but we are also realists. We understand that EVs aren't perfect. I mean, what vehicle is, and that's something you, the car buying public need to be aware of if you are not already. Going forward, the downsides of electric vehicles will decrease as battery technology advances and the charging infrastructure improves. So anyone that tells you EVs are perfect for everyone in all situations is either lying or they're a Tesla shill or something else. So watch out because they may also tell you their collection of Beanie Babies is a great retirement investment. I can't believe people bought that stuff. Anyway, that's my opinion, and maybe it's a bad one, but regardless, I thank you so very much for watching. Next, check out our first drive review of the beautiful 2023 Toyota Prius. Now, no, it's not an EV, but this hatchback is super fuel efficient, and you never have to worry about charging a battery. If you want to save money at the pump and look good doing it, I highly recommend you consider the redesigned Toyota Prius.